है गाइस वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो आफ्टर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम आई हैव पोस्टेड अ फ्यू वीडियोस हियर एंड देयर सम व्लॉग्स ऑन माई चैनल बट टुडे दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माई फर्स्ट मेकअप रिलेटेड वीडियो आफ्टर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम आई डोंट इवन रिमेंबर इफ आई हैव पोस्टेड एनी मेकअप रिलेटेड वीडियो दिस ईयर honestly i am not really sure so today i did my makeup i did my eye look today after a really long time and i thought let's sit down and make a video and chat with you guys so without much further ado let's quickly get started to today's video okay guys i hope you all are doing well we are also okay uh, we have uh, some vlogs up on the channel on some of the things which we have done in new york so if you are interested in seeing what we have been up to in new york you can watch those vlogs uh but today i just wanted to come here and just catch up with you guys what's going on uh just update you guys a little bit and i'm going to share with you all the makeup products which i have purchased this year in new york so this is going to be my entire new york haul and i have it in just one basket here so uh yeah i haven't really purchased a lot yeah i have been away from youtube for a various reasons a because i was settling down in new york we settled down pretty well uh, we moved to an apartment and uh, the apartment doesn't have a lot of space you know how new york apartments are if you know then you know that there is not a lot of space so i don't have a separate studio space here so i'm still kind of figuring out where i have to film that has been one reason why i was so lazy about uploading videos on my channel uh, i am also looking for a job in new york so there has been some studies and courses and certifications i am doing so i am busy with that and the main reason which uh, was preventing me from uploading videos is that my dad is not doing well uh, back in india and that just always is there at the back of my mind and uh, yeah he is not doing well since a few months now so i just hope he is oh, okay really really soon so yeah uh, so there are several factors which has not made me upload videos on the channel but today i forced myself to put on some makeup which i love doing so much i felt so good today to apply some foundation i applied foundation after so many months i think i haven't really bought any new foundations also this uh this year so yeah let's get started i'll show you what i have purchased this year and this video may be a little bit like here and there i apologize for that i'm still figuring out things here so i don't know how the lighting is and how everything is going to look so please bear with me let me start off with some base makeup products which i have purchased recently and then we will move on to some skin care and then i will show you the rest of the makeup products so the first thing which i purchased is from the brand named ilia i have heard of all of these very nice small indie brands which are like clean brands uh, which were not readily available there in singapore and so i was very excited when i came here that i will now get to try these brands so ilia was one of those brands and their tinted uh, this is the super serum skin tint broad spectrum skin tint and i was very excited to try this one this one has uh, niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid so this has like skin care ingredients and it is a tinted serum and it has a lot of shades which is a really really good thing so i got the shade uh, papacolia which is st12.75 so this one is a warmish uh, no this one is medium deep with olive undertones i got this shade but i think this shade is not like the perfect match for me this is tinted serum so this is like not super full coverage let me show you a little bit this is how the product comes in so it since it's a serum a tinted serum it comes in a very nice glass kind of a packaging very secure and this is how the shade looks like 12.75 it may look like quite a uh, light for my skin tone but it actually blends really really nicely on my skin and it doesn't give a lot of coverage my only issue with this uh, thing is the shade so i have actually purchased the next shade as well which has a more warmer undertone this one has a uh, olive undertone so i don't know it i feel like it is not the perfect undertone for me and since the shade doesn't match well i haven't really worn this foundation that much so i don't have my full thoughts but i am really really excited about this this foundation 
and this year there has been so many skin tints there has been one from fenty and i think uh, maybelline so i am very excited to try all of the skin tints uh, nowadays i'm in a very natural base makeup kind of phase so uh, i will try some skin tints and definitely review them for you guys the texture and the consistency is very nice when i apply it it just gives a fresh feel to the skin so it's looking good but let me get the shade match then i will definitely do a dedicated video on this the next product which i got is a concealer uh, so i'm out of like many of my concealers i use concealers a lot and i think that's the only base makeup products i use so i got a new concealer from longcomb this is the 10 idol ultra wear this is a multitasking conceal for 24 hour comfort and wear so you can actually wear it for 24 hours and i think i will agree it's a very very lightweight concealer the shade which i have got is bisque warm which is 07 sable and the shade is a perfect perfect match for me this is a concealer which i am wearing today so underneath my eyes around the corners of my mouth this is what i have today look at the packaging it is just super super luxe the packaging this also i think is a newer launch uh, they have also launched a foundation in this i have actually ordered the foundation it's on its way so when i have the foundation i will definitely review both of these things together but the shade match is so good i haven't tried a lot of long comb products this is how the shade looks like this one so for my uh, underneath the eyes this is like a perfect match it's not really like a highlighting shade it's a perfect concealing shade for around the mouth as well it's just a very very lightweight concealer i have been loving this uh, it's very similar to the pat mcgrath concealer which i love but this is even more lightweight pat mcgrath one is a little bit more thicker and it gives more coverage for this one you have to build up but the how it wears it doesn't crease it looks very very natural so i am currently really liking this concealer but i will definitely do a full review on this when i have the foundation as well okay next let me show you some skincare so after coming to new york i was like okay i can finally start using this brand which i really really like and they will cost a little bit less here and there is a lot of options so you know it was like a dream come true, true for me when i came here and you can see like there's such nice brands here at the drugstore even the drugstore brands they are like so many options it has been so overwhelming when i go to the drugstore that i end up buying nothing the options here are just way too much so i'm still still figuring out how to you know buy from the drugstore which kind of products to buy so yeah it's it's very funny so the first skincare product which i bought is the tacha kisu uh, lip balm lip mask rather and it's just it's just such a pretty lip balm this is how it looks like it has a very like jelly like consistency it comes with a mini spatula here to take out the lip balm and this is a lip balm which i'm using along with my daughters they also love it it's just so hydrating so nourishing so moisturizing and if you apply it once your lips instantly even if they're very very dry or instantly your lips feel very smooth and nourished so i love this lip balm it's kind of a pricey lip balm but i don't know i love it so much i have already used up one this is the second one which i have purchased uh, and I think in New York whether you need lip balms like this but there are also a lot of lip balm options here so let's see if I can find something like this in a more less expensive version that will be great for now I'm loving this one by the way today is uh, November end and today is for the first time it's near freezing temperature outside it's minus four but it feels like minus seven that's what uh, that's what Google says and so it's really really cold and chilly outside you won't feel it inside i can see right outside my window uh, there were like little bit of snow flurries also yesterday very very mild which i didn't see so i'm hoping to see some snow i have never seen uh, snow like uh, in a regular city setting i have been to manali where i have seen snow in mountains and all but i've never seen snow so it will be really exciting and i'm kind of looking forward to it uh, forward to it <laughs> let's see how cold it's going to be okay the next thing which i'm loving is this one this one i actually 
tried like a sample when I was traveling. So when I was coming to New York and then during our stay, the first initial few days of New York, I had a small sample size of this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And I was finishing up all of my small samples, travel size packs uh, when I was traveling. So this is just so good. This is so, so good. It's so hydrating. So I got a smaller pack of this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and this is one of the first things I purchased here. This is just so hydrating and it ju just gives such a nice glow to the skin. It, uh, there is nothing much to show. It has a slight bit of a fragrance but I don't mind the fragrance. It makes the skin look so nourished and it's actually very very hydrating. And you can wear it even before your makeup. So I really really liked it. So I have bought a smaller one. But my sister actually had this one, a bigger one. So she has given me her bigger one because she had some skin issues. Uh, uh, like not because of the cream but generally she has some skin issues. So she gave me the bigger one to use and I'm using it that one currently. It's lovely. I love it. And this is the last skincare item which I have purchased recently in New York. So this is from Good Molecules. This is the overnight exfoliating treatment, AHA and BHA. Even until a few uh, months back, I was like, what has happened to my skin? It was so dry and so rough. It was looking so life lifeless because... You know, of all the hectic lifestyle, uh, I was not really taking care of my skin like I used to, like my morning skincare routine, nighttime skincare routine. I was not really following any of that. So my skin suffered a lot. So I thought, okay, I need a nice like a peel or something like that, like exfoliation. So I got this and I have actually <laughs> not used it yet. So this is the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment with AHA and BHA. It helps resurface and renew skin. After buying this one, I think I went to India uh, for my dad and then I completely forgot about it. So I have not really used it. So I'll use it and then I'll let you guys know how, how is it. Okay, next there are going to be some random things which I've always wanted to purchase. So first one is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. If you are a long time subscriber of mine, you guys know how much I love, love, love this mascara. But I couldn't get it in Singapore anymore. And after I came to New York, I completely forgot about it. I didn't really remember. And then one day I saw it on Amazon. I was like, oh my god, I can actually order this mascara now. So I ordered it immediately and I'm super, super excited to have it back in my life. So that's the one uh, mascara and the other mascara which I purchased, which I have not really opened it yet because I'm using up my other mascaras. This is the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. You guys know this one also I really, really love and uh, I have used the waterproof version. I don't like the waterproof nature of the mascara that's the only problem i have with it i don't really like waterproof mascaras <laughs> yeah so i wanted the non-waterproof version so this is the one which is available here in singapore we never have the non-waterproof version so this is a non-waterproof one another thing which i purchased along with the laurel mascara is the nyx micro brow pencil i have heard a lot about it and uh, i never really purchased it Oh no, I had it. I had it once. It is really, really good. I remember that. And so I thought, let me uh, buy it again. So I got the shade Espresso. So I think it will work out. I think earlier also I used to have Espresso. And it was quite a long time back. So I really don't remember the exact shade name I had. But I picked up that one. And then I picked up this one from Milani. This is the uh, Cheek. Kiss liquid blush now this one I am a little bit confused whether I bought it in Singapore or in New York I think I bought it in New York I hope I'm not wrong uh, but this is the liquid blush and nowadays liquid blush is such a thing cream blushes liquid blush blushes are so so good for this kind of weather it gives such a nice like a shine to the to the, to the cheeks and I don't top it up with powder afterwards. This shade is just so pretty. Uh, this is the Cheek Kiss in 140 which is Rose Romance which is like a corally pink kind of a color. It has a rosy pink kind of a vibe. This is how it looks like. And it's such a pretty color. The formulation is also very nice. You can blend it out easily and it 
is quite pigmented so i what i do is i blend it out on my uh back of my hand then i pick up with a brush and then apply it if you apply it on the cheek it's going to be a a uh, lot pigmented so if you are going to apply it on the cheeks then apply a very very tiny amount like very tiny but if you are not that pro i would suggest apply it on the back of your hand pick up with a brush and then apply it that's what i'm wearing today it's such a pretty color i love the formula as well it will settle down on the face after some time it doesn't stay as liquidy or creamy but it doesn't go very powdery as well so the formulation is very nice Okay, let's move on to some palettes. So the eyeshadow palettes which I purchased this year are only this many. Out of them, these three I had purchased uh, in Singapore and I got them delivered here. And these three I have purchased here. So those are the only palettes I have bought this year. Shocking, right? Yeah, I don't really wear a lot of eye makeup these days and uh, I am more leaning towards neutrally eye makeup looks so that's the reason i haven't really purchased a lot but let me show you what i have purchased i got the natasha denona i need a nude palette for of course it this one just looks so so beautiful and since i was doing a lot of neutrally kind of makeup eye makeup so i use this palette quite a lot this is how it looks like i will try to show you some swatches here as well the packaging is very nice and this is how the palette looks like. I love this neutral palette. The neutral shades uh, or the nude shades have a little more of a neutral, uh, not exactly cool, a more neutral tone. So I really, really like that. All the mattes, they work beautifully on my skin tone. Uh, even this one, which is great for the underneath the brows. And it's a very, very friendly everyday palette. And the shimmers in this are also amazing. I love the formulation also. Some of them have a little bit of sparkle and some are like really nice and metallic. Like this one, filigree. This one, I love this one. It just looks so beautiful. This is how it looks. This one is filigree. This is one of my favorite. It looks so, so nice on the eyes. And even this one, Muse, so pretty. This has like a duochromatic kind of a vibe to it. And the shades are just like, they have something to them. It's just not a plain metallic or a shimmer. They have just some kind of a sparkle or a flip or they're very, very interesting. So I am actually really loving this eyeshadow palette. I can do a dedicated video or looks with this palette. If you guys are interested, do let me know. Then I got the two ABH palettes and they are just so, so beautiful. I think I'll do a video on the ABH palettes I have purchased recently. I have also purchased the, those earlier ones which were in this kind of packaging. I've even forgotten the name of those. Hold on, please. Okay, I'm back. So these two. I've also bought these two, Nuvu and the Rose Metals palette. I love these two palettes as well. I think uh, ABH has done a really, really good job with these palettes. Did I do a video on these? I don't remember. These I had bought in Singapore itself. I don't remember if I had done a video. I was planning to do a video, but then did I end up doing? I'm not really sure. If I'm done, I will leave a link in the description box. But I will definitely do a video on these two. And if I've not done a video on the other two, I will incorporate them also in the video. So the first one is Cosmos, which I have purchased. So beautiful. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today, by the way. It's just so pretty. It's a very interesting, different kind of a palette. And this is how it looks. I love the color story. It was so, so beautiful. I am wearing this shade on my eyes, which is called Kasar, which is this greeny duochromatic kind of a color. So it has like a green, blue flip, lime green, blue flip. And I'm also wearing Supernova, which is there in the outer corner, which is like a purpley pink with a little bit of a hint of sky blue kind of a flip. And I'm wearing the shades Eclipse and Comet for the rest of the eyes where you see the mattes. And uh, I'm wearing the shade Galaxy as like a liner on top. Amazing. I love this palette so much. And I have used this palette a few times already. And I think the shadows work great. The mattes are amazing. They blend with uh, each other quite nicely. So yeah, I, I quite like it. And I have not really 
tested a lot of eyeshadow palettes this year it's probably why i like this one so i'm not really sure what the reviews on these palettes are but uh, personally i am actually really liking them the other one is the fall romance palette it's just so pretty i had to get this one when i saw this i was like oh, okay i am getting this one it is just super beautiful with a lot of purples and uh this grungy greens and pinks and taupey kind of vibes it has a total fall look vibe and i will definitely do a video with this one like do a look or something like that and i just love this one look at this purple pinks i love these greens right here and the greens and the purples they go they go so well together uh, i am reminded of the good sport palette from colourpop which i used to love um i'm reminded of that from this one that palette had a little bit more orangey vibes as well this one doesn't have that kind of orange but it's just so pretty and uh, i will definitely do looks with this i've used this one too and i love it and the next palettes which i had purchased actually these are the first ones which i have purchased this year are these from uh, udenzai these palettes are also so so pretty so these are some collab palettes with berry jean just for fun makeup just for fun and uh, lauren may beauty so i follow lauren may beauty on youtube and i really really like her channel so she has the sea talk palette look at the packaging is just so pretty and it's in pristine condition i haven't really used it that much love the color story here so it has some greens some purples pinks uh and i think her style of doing eye looks is very similar to what kind of eye looks i like to do so i really like the way she plays with colors uh so i think she has it very well uh put together in this palette all of these colors will go very well with each other or individually so this is the c talk palette from lauren may beauty and then we have the let's do this one first makeup just for fun so i follow her on instagram this palette is just super super beautiful lot of greens purples so so pretty i will try to give you close up because you may not be able to see properly from here next we have berry jane now this is one uh, influencer or creator i was not really too familiar with but i really really liked her palette as well so i got all three this is a very fun palette and this is totally like my kind of palette from 2 years 3 years back i would have loved this palette even more but i still love it i mean some part of me really likes these kind of colors i don't know how much i'm going to wear these kind of colors together i will probably incorporate them in some looks in a more subtle ways uh, but i love these colors individually the teal greens the bright oranges purples pinks it's like a total vibe definitely definitely i have to get this so uh, i have actually used this palette i haven't really used the other two that much but i've used this palette some of the colors and they really work well together especially the purples and the pinks they go really well together so that's another purchase from this year with one of the purchases from sephora i also got this so this is the abh glow kit in the shade uh sun dipped and i don't have this one i have other glow kits i still have them and this is how this glow kit looks like and uh, yeah i was i am always happy to get some highlighter i have actually not purchased a single highlighter this year so i'm not really sure if this glow kit you can still buy oh this one actually came with one of the palettes the abh palettes so probably abh has a lot of stock with them so they are just giving out glow kits so i am not really sure if you can buy them still wow so glowy i love abh formula and i still have all the abh highlighters i have purchased so far let's move on to the lipsticks which i have purchased this year and lipsticks yes i have purchased a ton of them and in fact for this black friday i did some shopping uh, after a long time i thought let me purchase a few more makeup so i bought foundations i bought some blushes i have ordered some lipsticks from a lot of brands so those are coming so i will do videos on them but uh, the lipsticks which i purchased here are from few uh, months back so the first one which i want to show you is this one which i am wearing and i think it looks really nice with this eye look it is a more cool toned lilacy kind of a color movie kind of a color not exactly lilac cool toned movie color 
I didn't think this would like show up this well on my skin tone, but it does. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink and I have the shade Witty. So this is more like an everyday kind of color if you are looking for a movie kind of color. Not more of a pinky mauve, more of a true mauve kind of a color. This is how it looks like. And I love this vinyl ink formulas as well. Even the Superstay Matte inks, which I also love. Little bit sticky, but they are super long wearing and I really love them. I have a full video on all the shades I still have. I do have. I have actually decluttered a lot of lipsticks, but uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte inks, I still have all of them. And the vinyl inks also, I am kind of slowly building a collection. So probably I will do a dedicated video on these as well someday. Next, we have this one from Hourglass. I really, really want to swatch this. I have been eyeing these kind of uh, like hourglass, not this kind, this particular formula from hourglass since a really long time. This is how the packaging looks like. I got the shade Cypress, which is the shade 328. So these are the hourglass satin cream lipsticks in the shade Cypress 328. It is such a beautiful everyday shade. If you are looking into this hourglass satin cream lipsticks, definitely definitely check out this shade it's really really beautiful perfect for everyday a very nice creamy glides under the lips very comfortable formula that is the shade look at this it's so so beautiful and it looks really really nice on the lips it is like you have a little bit of color on the lips it's it has a slight bit of a pink tone to it it's a mauve uh, it has a slight pink tint as well uh, I will probably swatch it on my lips in another video because with this formula, I can't swatch anything. The other one which I got is the Matte Revolution, Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution. Love this lipstick formula now. And uh, I got the shade MI Kiss. So I have actually, actually used up my uh, Born Girl, which is there featured in one of my videos, my most used lipstick videos, I think. I will leave that video also in the lips, uh, description box below. Did I say lipstick box below? <laughs> description box below. So this is the shade MI Kiss, which is the new name for Bond Girl, apparently. It's like same packaging, nothing new. This is how it looks. Kind of similar. I have not used it. Look at this. Look at this. How pristine the condition is. You know what? I don't really want to swatch it as well. It is just so beautiful. I don't want to swatch it. I will do a separate video or I'll post it on Instagram. And then I have also got the much awaited Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. This is also really nice. The shade is a little bit light for me. It's the shade Wonder. So it's like a peachy kind of color. Like a peachy nude kind of a color on me like a pinky peachy kind of a color it doesn't have a lot of pigment but the formulation is very very like soft on the lips it's very hydrating nourishing and it looks your lips look really nice when you wear it i just wished that it it had a little bit more pigment to it and i have some pat mcgrath lipsticks as well so they are uh, satin lipsticks which are called what are they called? Satin Allure lipsticks. I have three more shades. All are more of a neutrally nude kind of shades. I want to do a dedicated video. So I will do a dedicated video and show you the swatches. These lipsticks are amazing. These are creamy satin lipsticks, but they are quite long wearing as well. They do give the lips a certain bit of color. So they are not going to completely fade away, which I really, really appreciate. So yes i do have uh, two shades already in this i have been using them since a long time i got three shades and these are more uh, neutral nude shades and i saw a really bright vibrant pink that day on the website and i was like i should have got that one so i actually ordered two more shades so i will have eight shades no seven shades so i will swatch all of them together in one dedicated video and i will do a 
like a proper review with that i have actually come to the end of this a uh, haul this has been my first new york haul there are just so many new things to try here new brands new products in fact all the older brands are also they have launched so many new things newer foundations concealer formulas blushes so much to try so i am a little bit more excited now i think last 2 3 months i was not really interested in makeup at all so my mental state was not like that where i would you know invest myself into finding out what's new and what's interesting i was just not interested finally after a lot of months i am getting my interest back and i hope you liked my haul <laughs> today oh uh, can you imagine that's the only makeup i have purchased this year so far if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you want a glimpse of my life here then you can check out my diwali vlog where i have showed you around a little bit where i live and what do we do uh, usually so you can check out that vlog and uh, please do consider subscribing if you are new here and you like this video i will hopefully see you very very soon in my next one bye